Hey everybody, this is MJ Sailing's real time update, y'all. Real time update and review. Review? Yeah, and we're gonna review what we've been up to. Oh, okay. All right, so this is our real time update. Uh, we are coming from beautiful St. Martin, um, which you might be able to see in the background a little bit. We, we've had a lot of questions about what we're going to be doing for hurricane season this year. Uh, so what we wanted to do is we wanted to come out and just, just explain what our next couple of months are going to be. Within a few days, we are going to be doing a Atlantic crossing again. So we're going to leave from St. Martin, go towards Bermuda to get over the high pressure system that forms uh, between Bermuda between and the Bermuda, Azores. Yeah, Azores. Yep. Over the top of that, so hopefully around that 35 degrees, and then we'll go across to Azores. So our landfall is going to be in the Azores, probably in, knowing us, it'll be like a month and a half, <laughs> but uh, realistically it should be eh, three, three weeks. weeks. About three weeks three is weeks. what it'll take us to get that section. So the, the plan at this point is to go to Ireland. Uh, that's going to take, it's about a thousand miles, so that's going to take roughly a week and a half um, yeah. to, to get to Ireland, depending on how the weather is, depending on how strong the winds are, and if we get any storms through that section. From there, we're going to run our 90 days, where uh, U.S. citizens were given a 90-day visa in Ireland. So we're going to run that out, um, use up our 90 days, visiting as many things as we possibly can in that time, and preparing ourselves for winter. Um, yeah, yeah. So the after our 90 days are up, we're going to end up going from Ireland to UK, the southern part of UK. Um, Plymouth, I think, is where we're going to hang out for a little bit, and then we're going to start moving our way further east around there. We, we don't know exactly. That's going to bring us into winter time, so that's going to bring us into the colder months. Um, we're hoping to escape and uh, head to the Caribbean. Um, not with this boat, but leave the boat in uh, a storage somewhere in the UK, fly down to the Caribbean and bum around on people's boats. Maybe we'll see, or, you know, we, we, there's a lot of different possibilities of places that we could go that are warm so we don't freeze our uh, rear ends off again. It, it, so we may end up going to Arizona to visit Jessica's parents. We're gonna bounce around a little bit during winter. Um, and that's kind of uh, our plans that's for the next couple of months. 2018 plan. 2018. Uh, 2019, we're going to go further north. Yeah. yeah. And now for the review part, if you've been following the episodes um, that we've been putting up like every week and a half or so, we're still stuck in the Bahamas and there's still a few more episodes to come in the Bahamas and there's a few reasons that um, we're so far behind real time. And one of them is, um, as I've been editing, I had wanted to do weekly episodes, but I also had to prepare for this Atlanta crossing, meaning I needed to have so many episodes done beforehand so I can publish them before we leave because we won't have internet access for three to four weeks. So that's taken up some of my time not being able to publish as many now as I had wanted. And then the other, um, reason is because about six weeks ago I um, got some bad news from home. I found out from my parents that my brother had um, passed away, which was very difficult for me, um, for both of us actually. Um, so took some time away from the camera, took some time away from editing, and it took a while to kind of like regroup and get back to normal. So there was a long period where I wasn't editing and I wasn't filming. So that's also another reason for the lapse. Um, yeah. But we have done a lot of fun stuff since we left the Bahamas, and so we just want to give you a quick little review to catch you up to where we are now. From the Bahamas, we moved ourselves south to the Caribbean using the path known to some as I-65. So we are out the inlet on our way and only about 950 miles to go to Simpson Bay in St. Martin. And I've got my comfy little lounging spot here on the low side of the boat. Someone's found a puddle, buddy. Mm -hmm. Aww. And after eight days at sea, we landed in St. Bart's.
honestly, after stepping through here and walking through the buildings and the beaches, kind of don't even want to leave 30 minutes here and we're smitten. So Matt, you think we found paradise? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Just kind of fun to sit here with our uh, Miller High Lives and watch the water and the people. We can do what we like, like baby while we're young. And so in the spot where we're in, where we're reduced to eating sandwiches because that's all we can eat right now. And we have a new neighbor tonight and it is, it's Tommy Hilfiger. That's his boat flag. After St. Bart's, we moved ourselves 13 miles over to St. Martin where we were able to get provisions and also had our first look at the damage left behind by Hurricane Irma. So budget is missing a few letters, uh, but we actually think that it was like that in 2015 when we were here too. Yeah. So unsuspecting to what's just about to happen to her. You're gonna hate us in a minute, kitty. You're gonna go on a bicycle ride. Yeah. <gasps> You'll be nice and safe in here. You will. I say we tried this on the boat and she was fine with it. Yeah. We spent our few days in St. Martin, anchored out in Simpson Bay, but we're pretty excited to leave it due to all the uncomfortable swells that kept rolling through. Then it was back to St. Bart's, where we arrived just in time for their annual race week. Live music, and um, so yeah, we're just rounding out the week with some friends, wandering the gorgeous, gorgeous streets of St. Bart's. And while we were there, we rented a scooter for a day to tour the island. Scooter! I actually have keys to something, which is scary. We'll see what the people behind us are doing. I want to run around naked if we're not supposed to be. Our next stop was the island of Antigua, which is about 70 miles to the southeast of St. Bart's. And we arrived there just in time for their race week as well. Morning, crew. Good morning. Good morning. Where we did the round the island race on a Pogo 1250. Spent many nights at the local parties. Oh, these so are rope burns. burns. Rope burns. All up and down. Elbow burns. And then switched over to a friend's rival 38 to finish out the next five days of racing. From Antigua, we made the sail over to Ceiba, which is a volcanic island about 20 miles south of St. Martin. Glad yeah. yeah. you have energy. Because I'm excited to be here. It is beautiful. We've been wanting to come here for four years now. This is like the one spot in the Caribbean that was kind of like we have to go to Ceiba. <sighs> I'm very proud of us today, Matt. Yeah! Well, we've climbed from sea level to wherever the hell we're at. Yeah, so if anyone who has done this hike before knows where we are, you'll know how high we are, because we don't. Um, from there, we went back to St. Martin again, so round three. Three? Two. No, round two. Well, 
No, so round two, uh, back to St. Martin, um, where we are provisioning, doing some final details on the boat before we do the Atlantic crossing, getting ourselves uh, rested up. We're actually in a flat, calm area, so we're not bashing around a little bit, and uh, just watching the weather. So that is what we have been up to that will be coming to you through the video, so stay tuned for those, and um, wish us luck while we're out to sea because we're leaving in just a few days and you won't hear from us for a few weeks. Yay! <laughs>